Good morning, good morning, good morning, for this is the day that the Lord has made. I am rejoicing, and I am already, already glad in it. I hope you are excited about the word of the Lord on this morning. Listen, tonight, 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 y'all, tonight, I am so excited about what God is going to do in the house on tonight. If you are making plans, listen, I need you, figure it out, catch an Uber, do whatever you can, but you need to be in the house tonight. This is an exciting time in, in the Lord. In this season, I'm so excited, as I say always, about what he's doing in your life. I hope you are in high expectation of what God is doing. I hope that you are excited about the, the miracles. Listen, to me, the last day of school, y'all you all, y'all already know. Anybody in education, we so happy right now, it, it, it don't even make sense. But listen, more, more, I'm more excited about the fact of what God is going to do on tonight. Because I'm, I'm starting to realize he didn't have to choose me. For this assignment, he did not have to choose me to be the one to be his his hands, his feet, his mouthpiece and, 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 and to speak through me and to do what I do in the kingdom. He did not have to choose me for this, but I'm so glad that he did. Anybody glad that you you were chosen for this? Anybody? Gl watch this. Watch this, Loretta Austin. Is there anybody that's excited? Watch, th this is going to mess y'all up this morning. I know I already came out the gate swinging. I told y'all Friday, Friday night. It, it, it's, just, it's just a whole nother, a whole nother level in God. But listen, anybody excited about the fact that I was chosen for, watch this, for this furnace of affliction? Because, listen, because it's getting me somewhere. It's my vehicle to somewhere great in the Lord. I, I listen, Wendy, Wendy, I'm like you. I'm coming because people think, oh, well, she already know what's going to happen. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. People think that I come to the service and I'm just like, okay, well, let's just see what God going to do because... I don't, mm -mm. I don't come with an agenda. I don't, I don't come with a plan. I come with an assignment. Okay. I come with an assignment, Isha. I come with the mindset of, of, of I'm first partaker, but what God going to do, he going to do for everybody that's in the, in the house. So I come in as much expectation as you do. I have no idea. Listen, what God is going to do in each service. I don't know if it's going to be a service. He said, we're going to do deliverance tonight. I don't know if it's going to be a service. He said, you're going to pray for everybody tonight. I don't know if it's going to be a service. He's going to say, you know, we're going to tarry tonight until I come. Oh, okay. I felt something on that one. I never know what God is going to do. I leave it in his hands. So I don't come with my own agenda telling him what, what's going to happen tonight. That, that, that's not me. I don't come with an agenda of what well, is going to happen. And we're going to have this song and Rebecca going to sing this and the band going to play this. And we, I don't come like that. I come with God, whatever you want to say, God, whatever you want to do. I come with high expectation for God to do the miraculous. I come expecting sign wonders and miracles. So, so listen, I, I hope you're ready tonight. I, I, ho I hope you come in expecting God to do the supernatural. I always come expecting God to do more than he did the last time. I always come expecting God to do something different. I always expecting, I come expecting God. L listen, LaShawn, I hope I see you and my boys tonight, you and the twins. Listen, I always come expecting God to pour out fresh oil. Mm. Fresh oil, a new word, a new level, a new baptism in his Holy Spirit. I come expecting, do anybody else come with, with an expectancy in your heart. Listen, because I'm going to tell y'all what messed me up this morning. I, I woke up. I was looking at my watch. I was like, well, Jesus, did I get any sleep? Because I kept waking up every every hour on the hour. I kept waking up trying to see, is it time to get up yet? Is it time for us to pray yet? God, do you need me yet? God, what, what you want to say to me? I kept looking at my watch. I'm like, Lord, I got 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. I think I woke up after 12 o'clock midnight because y'all know I go to bed before 8. So I woke up every hour on the hour. Looking at my watch thinking, okay, is it time yet? Because I know that the farther we get in time, the closer it gets to 7 o'clock tonight. Listen. So I come expect, listen. And, and, and when I got, when I finally got up this morning, and my clock, I think I was woke before it went off, but I finally got up. And I did everything I had to do, and I went into my time of devotion and prayer. And God began to tell me, he said, I just be, he just began to say victory. I don't know who need to hit, but you need to go ahead and drop up, let, let me do my whole good morning, everybody. Good morning, all 30 of y'all over here on Facebook land, all y'all over there on YouTube. Listen, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you. I hope you have shared this one because the word of the Lord this morning that he gave me was victory. 
Bridget, he just said victory, 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 victory. And, and go ahead and drop it in the chat, Angel. Go ahead and drop it in the chat. Go ahead and drop it in the chat. I see Loretta. I see Barbara Tate. Look, listen, Loretta put victories. Okay. She's starting something this morning. But listen to this, Ross. This morning, God began to tell me as I went in my devotion and I was, you know, I start out a certain way and I was doing all this, acknowledging who he is. And he interrupted. <laughs> Uh-oh. Y'all, the prophetic flowing already. God is about to interrupt some things. He interrupted my worship. And he said this. He said, victory. And I said, huh? <laughs> and then he said, victory. And then I went over in my heavenly language. And you know, the whole little devotion time went somewhere else. And, and I began to praise God and worship God. And he just began to say, victory. And then all of a sudden, I started saying, victory. I got it. I thank God I got it. I just started grooving victory. I got See, some of y'all need to be singing that right now. Victory, victory, victory. I thank God I got it. Now I'm going to get it. I got it. Listen, when you fully press, okay. Let, let me let me get into the let me get into the text this morning so we can try to so we can try to plow through this morning. Listen, when you understand that I'm fully persuaded, I understand that I'm on that I already got victory. I got victory over it. I got victory in it. I got victory coming through it. Victory, I got it. I got it. I think not I'm gonna get it, Renee. I already got the victory. Who got, why? Because I know who my daddy is, and I know that power belongs to God. So I already got the victory. Victory, I got it. Victory, 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 I got it. I thank God I got it. Who God, I, I feel that this morning. Because see, some of y'all got to understand, if you, LaShawn, I cannot walk around saying I got victory when my mindset, okay, Whew. Roz, I'm going to try to slow it down. I'm gonna slow it down, I'm gonna slow it down. Who God, I cannot walk around saying victory, I got it when I have a victim mentality. They go against each other. Either you're going to be the victor or the victim. Pick your side this morning. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, pick, yeah, listen, we got to pick our side. Either we're going to walk in victory because we're fully persuaded or we're not. What you going to do? God says it's, the ball is in your court this time. What you going to do? Are you going to be the victim or are you going to be the victor? Are you going to walk in victory or are you going to keep complaining? Are you going to walk in victory or are you going to grab hold of them? What you going to do? I'm choosing, oh God, oh, I feel him this morning. I'm choosing the side of victory. Whose side you on? I'm on the Lord's side. The Lord's side says victory. The Lord's side says that I'm an overcomer. The, the, the Lord's side says I'm more than a conqueror. Whose side? Whose side? Who, can y'all just drop that in the, side, in the chat? Whose side you going to be on? I'm choosing Victory, victory over my circumstances, victory over my health, victory in my finances, victory over my children, victory in my home, victory in my job. I choose victory. Okay, okay. Let let me let let me let me who God let let me calm it down. Let me calm it down. Let me calm it down. Cause who ooh 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 ooh. See, see, y'all gotta understand what why I feel like I feel because yesterday, yesterday, let me can I who Lord can can I can I just yeah, can I just give some testimonies about the prayer call this week? See, we ain't even made it to tonight. And the miracle's already happening. We ain't even, see, 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 when I, y'all know that one morning, I don't even know which one it was, when we started flowing and healing and deliverance on the prayer, on, during this prayer time and, and prophetic teaching time, and, and, and I, I couldn't, I didn't get to the lesson because the prophetic started flowing so heavy. Do you know somebody texted me yesterday and they said, Dr. Three? They said, you know, that that morning when you was talking about healing and you was talking about deliverance and, and I had to have a procedure because they saw cancer. Dr. Three, do you know when after I listened to you and I built up my faith and I became fully persuaded? Okay, y'all ain't ready for this tonight. He said, and, and she said, she said, and after I became fully persuaded, when they got me in the procedure, they couldn't find no cancer. See, y'all playing with it. Who side you going to be on? Because I can't be the, okay. Victory, I got it. I thank God I got it. Listen, I, I can't well, watch this. Watch this, Renee. Watch this, Isha. Watch this, Angel. Watch this, Sabria. Watch this, Sharia, Nicolette. Listen, I can't walk around. I can't walk around saying I got victory and complaining. Mm, I can't walk around saying I got victory. And every time I feel a pain and an ache, I'm about, it's about to take me out. I can't walk around, James, saying I got victory. Because watch this. People watching you. She always talking about faith. She always talking about that God, God gonna do this and God gonna do this and God. Do this. But then every time I turn around, she complaining. Whose side? <laughs> Whose side?
you going to be on? I told y'all when, when you sow into this, I don't know about everybody else, but I always tell people, check my fruit. You ain't even got to like me. You got to say, she always on there hollering. She too loud. I don't like, they don't take all that. Every time I talk, see her, she's speaking. To, you ain't got to like me, baby, but check my fruit. Check the fruit of sold out international. Check the fruit of God's girl. You can't judge me, but you can always judge my fruit. You want to know what you're sowing into? Signs, wonders, miracles. Cancer is being healed. People being delivered. People getting cars. People getting, listen. Check my fruit. Listen, because I choose. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm choosing to be on the side of the one who can't lose. Who is this for? I'm choosing to be on the side of the one who can't lose. I'm choosing to be on the side of the one who fought every battle and he won. I'm choosing to be on the Lord's side. Victory. Can y'all just one more time? Because why, why, why she keep saying put it in the chat? Baby, because you're writing a vision, you're making it plain. Baby, because when you type it in there, you're prophesying. Baby, when you, listen, can you just put it in there? Victory, 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 victory. Victory. Listen, listen. Loretta says she sold and her son is a felon and he got a job. Okay. See, y'all ain't. Y'all better know into that thing that you sold into. Listen, they'll tell you one time, one, one time in the ministry, we, it was, was it last year or year before? I can't remember because the baby just, the baby just turned one. So one time in the ministry, we had two women, watch this, 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 this is going to bless y'all. They womb was shut up. They were barren, had been trying to have a baby for years, couldn't have one. This is going to bless y'all. Guess what? I don't know what happened. We were, we were doing something, Angela Floyd, watch this. And all of a sudden that prophetic anointing hit me and God began to say, I'm about to open up barren wombs. I didn't tell them to sow. Because y'all know that's, that's not my MO. I'm not a prophet. P-R-O-F-I-T. I'm a prophet. P-R-O-P-H-E-T. Well, so I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not into the money game. So I didn't tell them, well, if you sow, I'm a prayer. Mm -mm. that, 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 freely I receive, so freely I give. So I don't, I don't, you don't have to pay me for a prophecy. You don't have to pay me for some oil. That's just what I was born to do. Well, so, so God began to, to, to flow through me in the prophetic about wounds coming open. I didn't know they were trying to get pregnant. Actually, actually, this is like the third one. I didn't know they were trying to get pregnant. I didn't know what was going on. She said, they, 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 and later on, they told me, I, I'm pregnant. I was like, huh? I didn't even know. I said, well, God bless you. She said, no, no, you don't understand. And they began to tell me how, through the prophetic of the word, listen, some, some of them are saying, yep, God did it. God did it. Listen, they began to tell me I had no teeth and I got dentures and partials. Okay, y'all ain't playing with it. Listen, listen, when I tell you, listen, you got to know into that thing that you're sowing into. Y'all better start checking these. Because see, we sowing into everybody to say something. We ain't seen no fruit. You better start checking they fruit. Watch this. Her daughter was here. See, y'all, they, they dropping the testimony. So y'all can't do me like that this morning. Y'all can't do me like that this morning. I'm, I'm trying to be good. Listen, listen. And, and so the, the barren wounds came open and, and she had a son. Watch this. And then not only that, but people, the, the, the testimonies of cancer are crazy over here. And then the financial breakthrough, that, that's a whole nother level. Listen, people got land houses, all that stuff through what God is doing through this ministry. Listen, listen, listen. I believe that, listen, because I am crazy enough to believe all 66 of them books. I'm crazy enough to believe, baby, it don't matter. God got until you leave this earth to do what he said. He said heaven and earth going to pass away, but my word going to stand. Listen, I I'm, I'm so excited about, about what God is doing. Sharia Mill, she know, check the fruit, baby. Blind eyes that came open over here. The lame have walked over here because my prayer to God is this. God, if you're going to use me, okay. God, if you're going to use me, then I want you to use me. <laughs> See somebody, somebody. That, that's why when I when I put it that I put that on my page the other day, and I said yesterday I think it was, and I said give God another yes. Is because I was driving in my car. Mm, 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 mm. Sabria, new car paid in full. See y'all, 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 y'all. Listen, 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 listen. It's people over here that been was waiting on kidneys for years. I did something about the Amos era. The, I, I was on here do, preaching and teaching about something. And all of a sudden, Duke called her. She had been waiting for years. And they said, get here. You're, you're a kidney here. Kidney still working. Tried to act a little crazy the, the other week. Kidney still working. See, God is, when you're faithful to God 
And you ain't in it for the game. You ain't in it because I'm trying to get rich, baby. You ain't in it because, honey, I need y'all to pay my mortgage. You're not in it for those reasons. But you're in it because you want power more than you want a platform. Who am I talking to? See, because that, that's my heart. I just, I cannot stand to see people bound up. I cannot stand to see people in bondage. And I'm talking about bondage of sickness, bondage of finances, bondage of whatever. I cannot stand it. So I told God, if you're going to use me, then you got to use me. <laughs> I said, God, when I go forth on Friday night, I've been fasting all week. I need to empty out. And you can fill me up later. Listen, listen, each of them know they know how I am after the service. Oh, I'd be on 100. But when baby, when I crash after that, because God empties me, I fast all week. Fast all week. Not because, oh, well, let me just, because I want God to do X, Y, Z. No, I fast because my prayer is, God, when you, when you get me before your people, I want you to use me to ain't nothing left. Whew. Is it any? Frenette got a call last week. See, y'all, I want the power of God more than I want a platform. I want the power of God more than I want likes and shares and tags. I want the power of God more than I want followers. Listen, let me see y'all pulling on it this morning. I'm trying to get here, but I'm just trying to tell you how to get something from God. Your yes got to be yes. Your yes got to be. My yes can't be yesterday and no tomorrow. My yes can't be, okay, God, well, I'm going to serve you because, you know, I'm feeling good right now. And then when God give you the thing, you leave him. Okay, I'm, I'm gone. Mm -mm. Y'all not doing me like this this morning. We, we about to get in this. We about to get in it. And I realized when I got to work, I didn't even finish yesterday. But we're going to do day five. Day five. <laughs> God. Day five. Oh, God, I love you. I love you. I love what you're doing, God, for your people. I love that you're giving them victory over these circumstances. I love, God, that you're giving them victory no matter what it looked like. I thank God that you're giving them victory over everything. God begin. Ooh, okay. God be. Listen. I'm trying this morning. God said, I'm about to trouble that thing that's troubling you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -mm. I don't know who this is for. God be get, God is saying this morning, that thing that's been getting on your nerves. Watch this, Sabria. Barbara Tate, Frenette, Loretta, all y'all. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, Tracy. I'm trying to whew, calm myself down. <laughs> he says, I'm about to trouble that thing that's been troubling you. Mm, watch this. That thing that's been getting on your nerves. Whew, watch this. That thing that's been aggravating you. That thing, that it. Watch this, Sabria. He said, I'm about to trouble it. Whew. Ain't no trouble like the trouble of God. <laughs> oh, God. Ain't no trouble like the trouble of God. Whew. Listen, he says, I'm about to trouble that thing that's troubling you. He says, but you got to understand, let me handle it. Take it, I don't know who this is for. Take your hands off, I got this. As long as you're trying to help me out, I'm not going to move. I'm about to trouble that thing, Angela Floyd Graham, that's been troubling you. He says, I said in my word, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. But what people try to do is they want to look at the prophet part. He said, don't, don't put your mouth on a prophet. No, no, that ain't, that ain't what he said. He said, touch not mine anointed. Whoever I have anointed, you bet not touch him. <laughs> Whoever I have anointed, you bet not touch him. Not just the prophet. He says, anybody that I anointed, he said, I said, touch not mine anointed and do my prophet no harm. Whew. See, see, but we, we just want to stick on the prophet part. Because we want to seem so grand. And so we want to see so grand, Nicolette, and we want to seem like we all that. He said, he, that wasn't just for the prophets. He said, my anointed. So I'm about to trouble that thing that's been troubling you. That mountain that's been in your way, he said, I'm about to shut it down. He said, I told y'all, victory, you got it. You better thank God that you already got it. Victory, I got it, not I'm going to get it. Victory, not I'm waiting on, uh-uh. He said, you already got victory in it. Watch it. Because yesterday we learned that whenever God speaks a word, it is. So that means whatever God said about you, it's already done. We're just waiting for it to manifest in the earth. So therefore, LaShawn, I already got victory. I'm not waiting on it. But I got to walk like it, Karen. I got to talk like it. I can't look defeated. I can't, uh, woe is me. And, and look, listen, and looking pitiful, waiting for somebody to say, girl, what's the matter? Because some of us just like attention. Okay, let me. 
We have been talking about fully persuaded. <laughs> Isha, you listen. We have been talking about fully persuaded faith and how to get it, how to activate it, because you already got it. But how do I activate it, Dr. Three? Watch this. Look past my circumstances. We were talking about Abraham all week. Look past my circumstances. That means I'm looking past the fact that I'm old. I'm looking past the fact that I'm almost 40 and I ain't had no babies yet. That don't matter because Sarah was 99 and Abraham was 100. But anyway, but, 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 we, but we try to box God in. When he's saying, I'm making you wait. I'm making you wait to build you. I don't know who this is for because I'm tired of waiting. I done prayed. I done sold and I done done this. And I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, we, we get all that. But what God is saying this morning is I'm making you wait because the longer you wait, the greater the testimony. If I come right now and I do it right now, you won't even appreciate it. You will think it was by your own hands. He says, but they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. I'm trying to give you strength, baby. <laughs> Because what you asking me for, uh-oh, 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 here we go. Because what you asking me for is going to take some strength for you to keep it. Whew. He says, they that wait upon the Lord, I will renew their strength. And then after you get strength, you're going to after, 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 your after is about to be grand. I don't know who this is for, your after. He says, they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength and they shall mount up on wings as an eagle. After he renews your strength, then you're going to mount up. Who is this for this morning? Oh, God, I feel like I just go, oh, lose it. Listen, listen. He says, he says after he renewed your strength, then you're going to mount up on wings as an eagle. You're going to run. Okay. You're going to run, run and not be weary. You're going to walk and not faint. Because, baby, you don't know. Listen, you're going to need this strength. It's weight, Rebecca. Don't you do that. It's it, The weight is in the weight. <laughs> oh, God, let me. Can I pin it? Can I pin it? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, that, 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 that spoke to me. Let me see. Let me find it. Let me find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. Listen, listen. Rebecca said, where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, God, I can't find it. She said, the weight is in the weight. Here we go. Here we go. The weight is in the weight. The weight is in the weight. The weight, oh God, oh God, is in the weight. It's, listen, it says, it says, it says, listen, listen. Oh God, that's speaking to me. Rebecca, drop that in the chat one more time so I can pin it. Listen, the weight is in the weight. <sighs> okay. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. You shall mount up on wings as eagle. Watch this, Yolanda. You shall run, you, you shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and you won't faint. In order for me to do all that, watch this. I got it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Watch this. About the pen it. About the pen it. Facebook. Facebook working with me this morning. Listen. It says. It, it says. In order. Okay. Y'all listen. In order for me to walk and not be weary. In order, for, in order for me to walk in it. Okay. In order for me to walk in it. In, in order for me to run with it. I got to have strength first. So in your waiting, he's going to build your strength. In your waiting, he's going to build your patience. Listen, in your wait, he builds the weight of your testimony. <laughs> your testimony, baby. Okay. Mike, you, listen, you, you, your testimony going to be weighty. What does that mean, Dr. Three? What that mean? Your testimony going to be weighty. That means when I testify about see what the Lord has done, when I testify about it, watch this. It's going to be so weighty. It's going to weigh on the people of God and bring them out every time. Listen, the reason why you got the I don't know who this is for. The reason why you got the weight on him so you can trust him in it. Mm. Watch this. In your weight, he is building your character. In your weight, he is building your trust in him. In your it's all about the weight, baby. But you gotta wait and let, while I'm waiting. Mm. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna be patient. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna be still. What does that mean, Doctor Three? That does not mean that while I'm waiting, I'm not moving. Mm -mm. That means while I'm waiting, I'm going to be still, meaning I'm going to stand on the promises of God because they are yet, yes, and they are amen. While I am waiting, I'm going to wait on, wait on him the right way, the right way, the right way. I'm going to wait. <laughs> God, y'all listen. How can you wait like that, Dr. Three? Whew. Oh God, I feel like I'm going hundred pounds, miles per hour. How can you wait like that, Dr. Three? I can wait like that because I'm fully persuaded. <laughs> I can wait like that because I'm fully persuaded. Listen, do y'all hear? <laughs> y'all just heard all these testimonies. Y'all saw I'm going up the timeline talking about what God has done through this ministry. How can you wait? I can wait 
Because I'm fully persuaded that God going to do what he said. I can wait because I got to see. Some of y'all can't wait probably because, uh-oh, uh-oh. You don't even have a seed in the ground. Okay, listen, listen. You can't wait and you're not being strengthened in your way. Because watch this. I am strict. Okay, let me, let me just give you this analogy. I have worked all week. Teachers, you know, we get paid once a month. Watch this. I have worked all month. I am very sure. I'm fully persuaded that when I open my account on the 31st, that oh, it's going to be there. It's a direct. De uh oh. Can y'all drop this in the chat? Direct deposit. <laughs> God, I love you this morning. Listen, I, I, am, I am fully persuaded that because I have worked and I, I have put the work in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. Frenette, Frenette, you can't keep testifying like that. Now, you, can, you, keep, you keep pulling on the prophetic. She said, I caught the bus. I was walking for two years. Through this ministry, listen, through this ministry, God done blessed her with a whole brand new car. See, I, 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 and, I, and I'm not saying this because I'm trying to get your seed. I'm just saying this because I want you to understand the principle of God. No seed, no harvest. Watch this. No seed, no harvest. Listen, listen, I am fully persuaded. Let me get let me get back to the point because I don't ever want y'all to think I'm on here begging for money. Watch this. So so I want to I want to get back to this point because I want to show y'all something. I am fully persuaded that because I have worked for a whole as a teacher because I have worked for a whole month that on the thirty first or what a CM the, the district I work in on the last working day of the month is when we get paid. So I'm persuaded. Listen that because I have worked. <laughs> Watch this, Nicolette. I'm persuaded that because I have worked for 31, for 30 days, that on the 31st day, it's going to be a check in the bank. Watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to open my account, my little app on my phone, and my direct deposit going to be there. I ain't even worried about it. I'm fully persuaded. Are you fully persuaded? Watch this. And what, what God began to tell me about the seed, he says, daughter, he said a lot of them are not fully persuaded because they don't have no seed in the ground. Or, uh-oh, here we go. Or could it be that you put your seed in the wrong soil? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, I told you, I, I, t I tell everybody, I say, baby, you can sow into the ministry, you can sow into this, you, you can sow into all the things that Dr. Three doing, but the minute you see me go left, don't sow. The minute you see me go left, don't follow me no more. Listen, listen, because you got to know what you're sowing into. And I tell people this all the time, I say, watch this, I say, the thing about it, could it be? You believe in God for something, but you ain't really got no seed in the ground. Could it be that you believe in God for something, but, the, but, but watch this, watch this, Loretta, but I sowed. It's a soil that ain't been tilled. Uh-oh. I, I, I've, so, I've sowed into soil that ain't got no fertilizer on it. The word. I've sowed into so. Listen. You got stony ground, Isha. Listen. When you have seed in the ground. This is Bible. You have a right to command ye me, says, says the Lord. Watch this. When you have seed in the ground, it says, your seed will keep speaking. Your seed will produce a harvest. Could it be? You're not fully persuaded because it ain't nothing in the ground for me to stand on. It ain't nothing in the ground for me to say, God, you know what? I sowed on that word. I sowed on what you said. Now, God, see, because I sowed into your word, you got to do what you said. Why? Because heaven and earth going to pass away, but your word is going to forever say, I sowed into your word. You said, watch this. <laughs> you said your word can't return into your void. Your word has to accomplish everything you sent it out to do. Whenever you sow into the word, he sent it out to work. Okay. Fully persuaded. Here we go. Here we go. Fully persuaded means last point. Last point of the week. How do I activate fully persuaded faith? Oh God. How do how do I activate fully persuaded faith? God, I thank you. Oh God. Y'all, y'all got victory. Y'all, y'all got victory. Can, can I, can I prophesy that? I'm trying to get to this, but y'all got victory. And y'all don't, the problem is so y'all can have victory in the thing and don't even realize it. God says, daughter, tell them they already got victory in it, but they don't even realize it. He said, because the minute you did what I said, it became victory. He said, the minute I spoke it, it became victory. He's okay. Listen, listen. How do you activate full of persuaded faith? We already talked about, you got to look past what it looked like. We already talked about, you got to take God at his word. Watch this. We already, and today we're going to talk about last point. I got to move. Listen to this, Cheryl. Listen to this, Cheryl. When I, how do I activate fully persuaded faith? As soon as God speak it, I start moving. Whoop. Watch this. How do I activate fully persuaded faith? Watch this. How do I activate fully persuaded faith? As soon as God says so, I sow. I don't wait. I don't got to analyze it. Talk to my friend. Talk to my cousin. Talk to, uh-uh. Listen, listen, listen to Colette. As, as, soon as, as soon as God say, I'm 
going to do X, Y, and Z, I start moving like he already did it. I start moving. I start making plans. I don't have, you cannot hesitate when God say go. Hesitation will cost you every time. You know what hesitation is? You, you moving, you, you, you moving based on what you feel. Hmm. Drop that in the chat. I got to move. I got to move. I got to move. I got to move. Watch, listen to this. You got to understand, watch this, that when God speaks, you have to move. Listen, Dr. Walker, she just put in the chat. She over there on YouTube, so I don't know if y'all can see it. She said, walking in expectation. I got to walk and expect at the same time. I got to walk and I got to expect at the same time. Listen, I don't have it yet, but I'm walking like I do. Watch this. Obey God without hesitancy. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place, he would later receive as his inheritance. He obeyed and he went, even though he didn't know where he was even going. Abraham didn't even know where he was going. He just heard God say, go. Who, who is this for? You want all the details. I want all this. I, want, I need all the information. I need mm -mm. So there will be times when God will say, um, Isha, I need you to go do X, Y, Z. He knew, that's all he gonna say. He ain't gonna give you no details. He ain't gonna send a prophet. He ain't gonna send no confirmation. He just wanna see if you gonna move. And then when you move, listen, when you move into the unknown, my God today, I don't know who this is for. When you move into the unknown, you talking about blessed, you talking about Amos era. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Listen, when you move and you show God, I trust you. When I can't trace you, uh-oh. When, when, you, when, you, when you say I'm moving, I already got the baby room set up. Okay, I don't even know who that was for. When, 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 you, when you're moving and you already got the boxes, you already packed up half the house. When you start moving like that, you, you put a demand on the word of God. Mm. When you start moving and I can't see it, God, I can't trace you, but I know I heard you. So I'm going to start packing these boxes. I'm going to start getting everything in place. I'm going to start fixing this room up. I'm going to start cleaning out that. Move. Move. Uh, oh, God. Move. Like you already got it. Why are you walking around with a, br a briefcase? Honey, because God already told me he was about to give me multiple rivers of income. So I got to, I mean, you see me carrying this briefcase? I um, ain't nothing in it right now. But God about to fill this thing up, baby. You see it right now. God, see, I had to change my whole wardrobe and buy me some business suits and some business clothes because I don't have a job yet. But God already told me he going to give it. You know what? I I'm going to, I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to stay right here. It says, some people want all the answers. Before they obey God, you got to check with your friends. You got to check with your cousin, your auntie and them. Have anybody in the family ever done this? Why are you checking with them when God done already spoke? Who's come? Rebecca, this is what God told me. When, when, when I started moving into things of God, he kept saying, you ain't got to check with nobody. I, have a, I don't know who this is for this morning. God said, I already approved you. And I already approved it. I just need you to move like you really trust me. <laughs> that's like me saying I'm not going to go to work for 30 days until I first see that y'all really going to pay me well baby how you going to see that they going to pay you if you ain't going to go to work how you going to see if God going to do what he's going to do if you ain't never stepped out how you going to see if God going to move like he said he was going to move if you never took the first step and see sometimes you can't sometimes our problem is this we're trying to move when God say move but we're taking the wrong people with us us, right here, us, us, us. We're trying to move, but we're taking the wrong people with us. He says, you doing it, you moving, but I ain't tell you to bring all them. What did he tell Abraham? Leave them and go. <laughs> he said, you can't take all them folk with you. He said, I'm going to tell you who to take with you. That's the only people go. Listen, because sometimes, listen, you got to go Nicolette by yourself. Sometimes you can't open your mouth and let people know what you're doing until it's already done. You got, Rebecca, here you go again. You got all this unnecessary weight and you're wondering why, why I feel so weighted down. Why am I struggling? Because you got all that. God, God, didn't, God didn't tell you to bring all them with you. God didn't even tell you to share your plans with them. Okay. Okay. Okay, because we share it. Listen, you can think, and, and I'm not saying they the enemy, but sometimes they don't have your best interest at heart. Sometimes, I don't know who this is for, watch this. Sometimes people love you as long as you stay beneath them. Mm. Listen to this, Rebecca. Some people love you as long as you stay beneath them. 
But right now you got, when, we, when you start getting too many followers and you getting too many invitations and you going all over here and you doing all that, now all of a sudden I got an issue with you. No, it's not an issue that you have with me, baby. You're jealous. Let's just call it what it is. That's a spirit of jealousy. Okay. I'm, and you do know jealousy comes with, see, y'all got to look at, I done gave y'all all my books on demonology. I done told y'all all the books to go get. You got to look at how these demons, how these demon groupings are. Jealousy is right in there with murder. Okay, but y'all be playing. Honey, I'm just going to pray for them and see, that, see them through. No, baby, call a witch a witch. Call a warlock a warlock. The Bible says, I suffer not a witch to live. So when you get in my service, I'm looking at you like, oh, you came up here to try to challenge my God? I said, okay, come on, spirit of Elijah. Let's show them who our God is. Listen, so you got to understand, a lot of times you got people, can I tell y'all this real, real, real quick? A lot of times we have people that we thought was good for us because listen, some people are with you for a season, a reason, and some for a lifetime. I understand that everybody on my team is not going to be on my team 15 years from now. I understand as, as a prophet of God that my job is to raise them up, send them out. I, I'm okay with that. Watch this. But um, our problem becomes, watch this. You get so connected. Watch this. You get so connected to people and what they doing and how they helping that you miss when God say season up. We miss when God say, all right, season up, season up, season is up, push them out, let them go season up. And what we do is we try to take them with us to our next, I won't even say level, our next dimension because see. All 40 of y'all over, over here this morning on Facebook and all y'all over there on YouTube. You're not going to levels, baby. God is elevating you to dimension. Can y'all just drop that in the chat? God is, he already spoke victory this morning. He says, I'm elevating you to dimensions in me, not levels. Woo, Jesus. So what? watch this. So he says, so he says, Isha, watch this. A lot of times, because the people you taking with you, they be good while you, while, while you starting out. Why you kind of struggling in it? They, they, they be good with you when you're trying to, when, when you need them for information and you need them for strategies. But then after God download in you, watch this, after God download in you his way, his plan, his blueprint, watch this. And our problem is because when God downloads stuff, it's not going to be the way everybody else is doing it because we peculiar people. It's going to look different. It's going to sound different. It's going to walk different. It, it, it's just going to be different. And, and people not, watch this. And people don't understand that unless they're in the vein. Watch this. So what happens is when you start, God start elevating you to them dimensions, all of a sudden now, Crystal, they got an issue with you. All of a sudden now, she thinks because God did this to her, she thinks she all that. Honey, who she thinks she is? I ain't scared of her. I remember when she had, baby, I'm glad you remember because that's my testimony. I'm glad you remember when I didn't have nothing because that's my testimony. I'm glad. So you can't take them people with you because what you're really doing is when God said let them go and we hold on is what you're really doing is giving the devil all your plans and watch this behind your back they trying to do the same thing they trying to become the mimicking prophet they trying to become a, little, a mini you and they gonna beat you to your assignment uh oh uh oh they're gonna try to beat you to getting it done and then you gonna be looking like well, what and so what can I expose it this morning can I expose it? So, 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 what, so watch this issue. You, you, you got, issue, you got, you got to be real, real, real careful. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. You, you better be real, 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 real careful with where God taking you. Watch this. Because, because, watch this. When you are multi-talented, can I say this? Because the Bible says, watch this, watch this, Wendy. The Bible says, I will give you witty inventions. What does that mean? What does witty inventions mean? Ain't nobody else done it like that, Crystal. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody started that, that, that kind of business. They have, but they haven't done it the way God given you to do it. So what happens is when you start doing it different than, way, than the way everybody else is doing it. And it, what, this, can, can I expose this demon? You doing too much. Can't you just stick to one thing? Why, why you want me to stick to one thing because it's low level? Because it's beneath you? Why you want me to just stick to one thing? So you got to start checking. Y'all better start listening. Y'all here, but you're not listening. I listen to everything. I listen, listen, the, the, the biggest thing that God began to show me when, when okay, y'all know, I know, I know I'm on a hundred right now, but y'all just pray for me. Pray me through today. Listen, I remember when God started sold out. Who God? And, and, and I had a mentee at the time. I had a mentee. Y'all know they come and they go, but I'm just going to stay right here. So I had a mentee at the time. <laughs> I had a mentee at the time and I started sold out international and that we were talking about, so, you know, just casual conversation. 
casual conversation, and they said, yeah, because your little ministry. Holy Spirit, well, listen, if you ever around me, and something hit me in my spirit, I get to look at you real crazy. They ain't even catch that part. But they said it like two times. And, and they kept saying, yeah, because your little ministry. That, and I said, little. And I said, huh. And so God began to tell me, he said, I expose that. So you can see that they really ain't with you. Ooh, see y'all, you, you, you got to listen. Y'all better listen to what people be saying. She said, she, she kept saying, I just told you it was a she. She kept saying, your little ministry, your little, little baby. God, when God gave me sold out, he said international. He didn't say nothing about no little. So why are you trying to call what God is doing through me little? Y'all better listen. They let stuff slip every time. Pay attention to what people say. Pay attention to those people that's closest around you. Whew. Listen. Pay attention. Let, let me get to this fully persuaded because I, I was about to just go there. Watch this. When I am fully persuaded, I move without having all the answers. Some people want all the answers before they obey God. And that is not God. Listen. It says they want everything to make sense. They want everything to make sense. And they want to feel safe before they move forward. I want, everything to, I want everything to make sense, Tracy. And I want everybody to agree with me, Cheryl. And I want everybody to be on my team before I do. I want to make sure I got everybody's approval. Before I do what God said. Do, do y'all hear this? I want to make sure I got man's approval before I move in what God told me. Huh? I got I want to make sure that I have man's approval before I step out on what God told me to do. When man ain't even going to help, baby, they'll drop you every time. Who am I? Who is this for? You depending on man who will drop you every time. Go ahead and put your trust in man. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I trust in my God. Who you going to put your trust in? It says, when you move, when you, when you want all the answers before you move, that's not faith. That's not being fully persuaded. Watch this. When God gives instructions, he rarely gives us the full blueprint of it. Mm. It's always a trust thing, Cambria. It's always a trust thing with God. He said, I'm going to give you a little bit and I'm going to see if you're going to move. In fact, I'm going to put you right in the line with a prophet. You and the prophet going to be just like this. And watch this. And I ain't going to give the prophet nothing to confirm it. I'm going to wait on you to trust me. I tell my team all the time, and I can always sense when they waiting on a prophetic word, and I say, whatever it is that you waiting on the word for, I can tell you right now, God ain't ready to give me no word for you. You know why he's not giving me no word for you? Because he wants you to trust him more than you trust Dr. Three. He wants you, see, because some prophets not going to, they, they'll make up some stuff and say, well, God told me to tell you. God told me to tell you. When God ain't said nothing, he said, woe unto you lying prophets. When God ain't said nothing, but because you close to me, I'm going to make up something to give you. No, not, not, not over here. I tell you, no, God ain't gave me nothing to give you. He said, trust him and whatever you believe in him for. He said, because he wants to, see, he wants you to build your trust in him more than you build it in Dr. Threat. Who is this for this morning? You, and see, I can always say when people pulling on the prophetic. They waiting. Honey, I be around her all the time. I walk with her. I talk with her. I, I, I'm her armor bearer. I'm sitting beside her and she ain't said nothing. Didn't the Bible say when, when, the, when the woman, when, when her son died and she was going and she was running to get to the prophet and Gehazi intercepted. Watch this. Watch this, Rebecca. Gehazi intercepted because the, the, the baby that she didn't even ask God for through the prophet, he, the prophet prophesied the baby through her, gave her son, the son died. And so she says, I got to get back to the man of God that gave me the word. And when she got to the man of God, he said, whatever it is, God has hid it from me. Woe unto you lying prophets. That's always saying, God told me X, Y, Z. Sometimes God will hide it from us because he want you to trust him more than you trust a Dr. Threat. Who is this for this morning? Make sure your trust is in the right person. You make sure your trust is in God and not man. Let me stay here. Let, let me, let me, let me, but I'm trying to behave y'all. And I got to get off here. Listen, it says when God gives instruction, he rarely gives us the full blueprint ahead of time. He expects more from us. Mm. He expects more from us. Think of all the people in the faith, in the in the Bible that's in the hall, the the, 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 the um that's in the faith hall of fame. <laughs> Think of all the people.
Think of all the people in the Bible. Whenever we talk about faith, we're going to mention these people. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, Tierra. Watch this, Crystal. It says, and this is in Hebrews 11, for those that want to study it left later. And when I talked about, so we all in Hebrews 11 this morning, because I don't even think I gave my scripture, because I want people to just think I'm just talking. Listen, Hebrews 11. When they were given instructions, the instructions made no sense. I needed to make sense to me. I needed to, I need to be able to write it down on paper and understand it. Baby, if you can write it down on paper and you can understand it, I can guarantee you it's not God. 911, if you can write it down on paper and it makes sense to you, then that means you can go ahead and do it. You don't need God. It's not a miracle. It's not, it's not a miracle movement. Oh, ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Can y'all drop, see, because God dropping these prophetic words. Well, what, can y'all drop that in the chat? Miracle movement. Ooh, it's not a miracle movement. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I feel your Holy Ghost. It's not a miracle movement. If I can write it all on paper and it makes sense to me, then I can just go do it. But it says, when you talk about the people of great faith, God gave them stuff to do that made absolutely no sense to the natural. It made perfect sense to God, but it didn't make no sense to them. It says, watch this, Noah. <laughs> Noah could have questioned the idea of building an ark not, not just a little boat. Y'all do know this ark was giant. It was, it was like, the, it was bigger than them cruise ships that I'm about to get on next week. Watch this. It says, Noah could have questioned the idea of building a giant ark, using a lot of resources and risking his reputation. Because some of us, we don't want to risk our reputation. But listen, Noah could have questioned all that. When rain had never before been seen on earth. Rain, what you mean rain? And Noah... Do you think he wasted his time explaining to people what rain is? Because they had never seen it. Y'all do know that, right? When you read your Bible, read your Bible. They had never seen rain. And you tell us some, no, water going to come from the sky. What? What are you talking about? What, what did I tell y'all? With the inventions. It ain't never rained before. It's never happened before. But I heard God. I heard God. I heard God. Watch this. And this is the, listen, I heard God. It's never been done before. But I heard God. Worship and warfare, it's never been done before. When I started years and years ago, because worship and warfare, those that know me, that it ain't new. We, 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 me and God, we've been doing this. When I started, everybody, but why, worship and warfare, why would you put those two words together? Either you're going to worship or you're going to do warfare. Which one you going to do? All I know is this is what God told me. Well, how you going to do that? Because you're not a pastor and you don't have a church and you don't have a band and you don't have a All I know is what God told me. I'm just going to run with what God told me. Well, how are you going to do it? Because it's going to take thousands and thousands of dollars. You're just a teacher. And God told me to use my own money. I don't know how. I just know he told me. It's not going to make sense to people. Hmm. Watch this. It's not going to make sense about what God is telling you. Noah said <clears throat> they had never been, they had never, it's never been a such thing as rain before. It's never been a such thing as water falling from the sky. It's never been such thing as clouds. Do you understand how much, how much God had to put in action to make rain happen? It had never been clouds in the sky that looked full of rain. Never had happened before. But Noah's saying, it, this water that's about to come from the sky, it's going to flood the whole earth. We all going to die unless we get in this ark. And watch this. Noah knew you can't take everybody with you. I can only take. Who is this for? I can only take who God told me. Listen. And so it says without question about this ark, about this water, you talking about going to come from the sky. He said, I ain't questioning that. It's never been seen before on earth, but I'm just going to do what God told me. Okay. Noah ain't enough. Watch Moses. Moses could have abandoned the whole Exodus plan. You telling me Moses to go before Pharaoh, the king and tell him to let your people go. I ain't got, I don't have any clout. They don't know me. They, I mean, what do you mean? I'm going to the king. God said, yeah, I need you to go. But what, but wait, wait, God, I stutter a little bit. Don't matter. I need you to go. Wait, God, I ain't, who is this for this morning? I ain't equipped. I don't know the Bible like that. I don't know scripture like that. God just said, go. When I first started preaching, I ain't know the Bible like this. And then that was one of my things. And I said, God, but I don't know your word like that. I've read it. And th this was my thing. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who this was because you contemplating if, am I going to accept this call or am I going to keep running for me? You ain't, you can't listen time up for running. But let me tell you this. When I first started preaching over 20 something years ago, 24 years ago, I did not know scripture like I know it now. And I was thinking my mind, my flesh, my emotions was telling me I had to rememberize all of it. 
That's just what I, that's what I was thinking. Watch. So I was running from the call until I couldn't run no more because I almost committed suicide. That's how bad I didn't want to do it. So y'all don't know. Y'all know parts of my testimony, but y'all don't know all of it. And so I was running from this thing. Didn't want to do it because I thought that 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 that, that I had to know scripture like everybody else. I thought I had to act like, talk like, dress like, be like everybody else. But what God began to show me in, in visions and dreams, he said, every time you open your mouth, I'm going to speak. He said, in fact, watch this, watch this. L listen, Loretta said she ran from her calling for 30 years. Listen, 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 because y'all don't understand. People that, that's walking in this thing for real. It ain't like we was, oh God, I want to be your prophet. We, we wasn't like that. Because we understood that our yes had to mean yes. Okay. We understood that our yes had to be yes. Uh, consistently. Watch this. So I understood. God began to tell me, he says, no, you're not going to do it like everybody else. You're not going to talk like everybody else. They're going to say you're loud. They're going to say you pray too long. They're going to say you preach too long. They're going to say you do this. And he went down a whole lit litany. He went down a whole list of what everybody was going to say. So I already knew what people was going to say about me. He said, but one thing is going to be sure. He said, one thing's going to be for sure, daughter. Every, as long as you live right, as long as you live this sold out life. He said, every time you open your mouth, hell going to tremble. He said, every time you open your mouth, I'm going to speak. So that's why when y'all see me come out there and I just be standing there. I'm waiting on him. Because if, if he don't open my mouth, I ain't got nothing to say. Time out for running. Let your yes be yes. Okay, let, let, me, let me get back to, oh Jesus, I got five minutes. It says, so we're talking about Moses. He could have abandoned the whole Exodus plan when Pharaoh said, no, time and time again. Moses could have gave up every time Pharaoh said no. God said, go back. Who is this for? Look again. He said, go back. Go back. Go back. He said, I'm proving. He said, every time they tell you no, I'm proving a point. <laughs> go back. Who is this for? Every time they deny you, I'm proving a point. Go back. He said, it says, Moses could have gave, given up because Pharaoh kept saying no, no, no. The Israelites could have resisted the order to march around Jericho seven times to get, oh, here we go, to get victory because it didn't make sense. Stop trying to make it make sense. Can, can I talk? Roz, we have to stop trying to analyze. This is the problem with, with prophetic people. I'm, I'm, I was saying this with, with my daughter, with my daughter Kiki. This, this is the problem with us. We analyze everything. Honey, if God tell me something, I'm like, okay. This, this was me when I started. Okay, so God said do X, Y, and Z. Okay, so God, why did you say do X, Y, and Z? And how do you want me to do it? And how do you want me to move? And how do you want me to say it? And God, I, I need it to make sense to me because I know. But then I begin to understand as I grew in this thing, my mind ain't like his mind. His thoughts are higher than my thoughts. His ways are higher. Than, all I know, listen, so now I just be moving. People are like, where we going? I don't know, but we going. We just going to follow God. We, we just going to follow the cloud, Isha. We, we just going to follow, follow the cloud by day and the fire by night. Ooh, Jesus. We just. Can y'all just drop that in the, in, in the chat? I'm about to follow the cloud and the fire. Oh, God, have mercy. I'm about to follow. Mm, Jesus, I feel you now. I'm about to follow the cloud and the fire. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to follow his voice. A sheep, my sheep know my voice and a stranger, they won't follow. Some of us are guilty of following strangers. There are many voices. But which one? <laughs> oh, God. Which one? Oh, God, I love you. Is the voice of God. We follow them all. On everybody live, on everybody TikTok, on everybody Instagram, at everybody conference. But you, you okay, I'm going to say this. No one Moses obeyed God without hesitancy. And they all got victory. What is God saying this morning? When you follow me and you don't hesitate, Teresa, when you follow me and you don't hesitate, Sabria, Crystal, Bridget, Nicolette, all y'all, when you follow God and you don't hesitate, Karen, he said you're guaranteed victory. Renee, I, I'm guaranteed Victory every time. Not sometimes. Oh, you ever see people that seem like everything they do, it just work? I've had so many people come and say, well, wait a minute. You said sold out only three years old and I, I seen you live. Where all them people come from? Because I'm following the cloud and the fire. <laughs> I'm following the cloud and the fire. I can't follow what, what I hear from people. I got to follow the voice of God and I get victory every time. I want power more than I want a platform. I want power more than I want followers. Who is this for? You want you 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 got a business, but do you want your business to bring God glory or do you want them to just say, "You know what she did good." Honey, she got a business. Do you want the business so you can be rich and wealthy? Or do you want the business so I can be rich and wealthy and and, and help my and, and help my lineage and, and and help the people of God? What what's your motive behind what you asking God for? 
Watch this. Because God said, God said when we started out, he said, oh, you're about to get, he said, victory. You got it. Now you're going to get it. It says, victory, I got it. I thank God. We, we, Rebecca, get that, get that in your spirit. We're going to sing that tonight. Victory, I got it. I thank God I got it. I already got the victory. I'm not waiting on it. I already got it. Why? Because I have fully persuaded faith. <laughs> when I have fully persuaded faith, Oh God, I'm not looking at my circumstances. I'm not looking at the natural. I'm looking at the supernatural. When I have fully persuaded faith, I'm looking at what God said. I'm looking at how God said move. Listen, what's your motive? What's your motive? Let me see. I got, I got to get out of here. Let me see. God, help me close it out. Help me close it out, Holy Spirit. It says, it says, there's safety in obeying God. Whew. There's safety in stepping out on his will. Listen, stepping out on God's will can keep you out of trouble. Watch this, Cheryl. When I do it God's way, I don't get in trouble. When I do it God's way, I ain't got to worry about hearing later. Well, I sold and I did that and look at it. Uh -uh. When I do it God's way, it'll keep me out of trouble. It'll keep me out of hardship. It'll keep me out of stuff. Listen, victory, I got it. Why? Because I am fully persuaded. Listen, I am fully persuaded. I am fully persuaded that God is going to do everything that he promised. Listen, listen. When you look past your prom, when you look past, I'm, I'm going to close it out so we can get ready for tonight. Listen, when you look past your circumstances, you take God at his word and you obey him without hesitancy. You will activate fully persuaded faith that brings manifested victory every time. Every time. Who am I talking to? Every time. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to close it out. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to close it out. When you look past your circumstances, one, take God at his word, two, and obey him without hesitancy, you will have victory, at, not sometime. Mm -mm. God said every time. He says, tell them, all week I've been pouring in a spirit, persuaded faith. He said, all week I've been telling y'all, can y'all just believe me again? He said, I've been telling y'all, can, can you look again? Can you believe again? Can you trust me again? He said, all week I've been showing you how to have fully persuaded faith, meaning you don't doubt me at all. He says, listen, look past your circumstances. Believe God, take him at his word. He said, and obey him without hesitancy and you will activate fully persuaded faith that brings, watch this, Manifested victory every time, not sometime, every time, every time. Listen, you do not have to live a life of what makes sense to you because I serve a God whose thoughts, what God think about me is higher than I think. But what God has for me is bigger than what I, what I think he got for me. So I got to live, Tiffany, a life of, 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 of belief like that. I'm fully persuaded that everything God said about me is going to come to pass. I'm fully persuaded that if God told me to do it, I got to move. I can't hesitate. I can't get the approval of man. Why do you need the approval of man when God said, I have approved you? He said, you, you keep, I don't know who this is for. You keep coming back to me, asking me, should I, could I, should I pursue? He said, I already told you to pursue. You Parents, you know, when you, when you tell your kids, this is me in, in the classroom every day. If y'all line up, we can go to recess. <clears throat> if y'all line up, we can go to recess. They'll start talking. You go first. You line up. You can, and I just sit there like this. And I don't say nothing else. It may take them five minutes to line up. Well, that's five minutes off your, uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. That's five minutes off your recess. Because I'm not going to keep telling y'all the same thing. Uh -oh. Who is this for? I'm not going to keep telling you the same thing over and over again. I already said what I said. When you get in line, then we can go. Who is God talking to this morning? He already said what he said. You heard him the first time. He's not going to keep repeating himself. He said, when you get in line, uh-oh, uh-oh. When you get in line, divine alignment. When you get in line, then I'm going to move. We ain't going nowhere. The train ain't leaving the station until you get in line. Who is that for? I'm getting off here because y'all pulling up. Listen, I hope you pl make plans. I hope you're making plans. Listen, to be with us on tonight. Jesus. I hope you're making plans. Catch an Uber. Get a ride. Do what you got to do. Get there tonight. Get there tonight. <laughs> get there tonight. God is about to pour out. He already told me it's going to be a miracle service. So I'm just ready. Miracles already done started happening. I told y'all somebody texted me yesterday. You know I went in for the cancer. The cancer gone. 
they were doing a whole procedure to get the cancer out. But I heard you live talking about healing and I, and I became fully persuaded and, and I got on the operating table. And when they woke me up, they told me they couldn't even find the cancer. Okay, y'all, y'all, listen, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. I'm going to put this on the bottom of the screen. If you want to sow, the information is there. Listen, God already spoke to us earlier on about sowing into good ground. Perhaps we're not fully persuaded because we got our seed in the wrong place. This is absolute fertile soil. Am I begging? Absolutely not. I'm just giving you an opportunity to sow into something, to sow into a word. The word when you, actually when you sow today, tag it victory. Victory, I got it. That's what I want you to tag it. Victory, I got it. Victory, I got it. Vic okay. Victory, I got it. Victor, listen, and, and this is the thing that God, and, and listen, you got to move without hesitancy. What, what do you mean, Dr. Three? I ain't waiting till tonight to sow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch this. Because your seed may, may, may help you not come up. Your seed may block that thing that Satan going to try to do that's going to keep you from getting there tonight. I'm going to leave that alone. Listen, if you want to sow the information on the bottom of the screen, I got to get out. I got to get out of here. Y'all pray me through. Pray me through today. Pray me, pray me through today. Today, the last day of school. I am believing God. That all my kids gonna leave at eleven o'clock. I'm, I'm, I, listen. We having a party at eleven. I'm gonna give them pizza. I got all the stuff for you. I'm gonna feed you real good, Doctor Three. Love you. Go home with your parents. Don't stay here all day. Don't stay here to three o'clock. Go home. Go home, please, please go home. Listen, listen. Y'all pray me through. I will see y'all tonight, seven p.m. Six o four Doug May's place. Listen, y'all pray me through. Pray, pray, pray your sister through. Pray your, pray your big little sister through, as I say. Listen, I love y'all. And I want you to know, if you, if you didn't hear nothing I said today, you have the victory. Emily, she a teacher. She, Emily, Tamika, all of us on here um, that they work in the school system, we like, hallelujah. Listen, because y'all don't even understand our struggle right now. When you want to say the crazies have come out, the crazies have came out since spring break. Some of them came out after Christmas break. They've been here. It's time for them to go on home now. Love you. God bless you. Everybody promote it. Go home. Everybody going to fifth grade this year. Listen, I love y'all. I love y'all. I, I got to get out here and get some things situated so I can be ready on tonight. Listen, y'all pray me through. I love you. And I want you to know something. You got the victory. I don't care what it look like. You, you got the victory. You got the victory. You got the victory. I love you. And God bless you. And I want you to have a good day on purpose.